Welcome on the Holland's Kust Noord uh, West Alpha project. Uh, here we are installing um, four export cables that are bringing offshore energy to shore. On this project we are required to bury the cable eight meters deep, which is exceptionally deep. And for this, that purpose, uh, Jan and Il had to design and build uh, our own machine, which is the Moonfish, which you can see here on the beach. Uh, the Moonfish was originally built in 2016 for the race band project in the UK, where we had to bury a cable down to five meters. Hollandse Kust is more challenging in its parameters. We have to go down to eight meters on this project. So it took us a year and a half and a lot of meetings between the technical department and the operational team to get the Moonfish ready for this project. There are three main characteristics for this project that determined the design of the machine. First off, there's the burial depth requirement, which is uh, to get the cable down to eight meters depth. Secondly, there was a requirement to be able to control the tension in the cable. And a third uh, requirement was to be able to load and unload the cable autonomously. And then for ourselves, we added an extra feature, which is the ability for the machine to be lifted out of the water. We, uh, we only retained uh, three components of the, the original Moonfish, which is the control cabin, the tracks and the motors. All the other uh, components were dismantled. We didn't really redesign the Moonfish as much as we built a completely new Moonfish 2.0. 100% customized for this project. Just for the design of the Moonfish, a team of more than 25 people was involved. So our marine design and engineering department really went above and beyond on this project. On the aft of the Moonfish you can see the vertical injector. The Moonfish itself pushes this vertical injector 8 meters into the ground to bury the cable on depth. In order to move forward with the machine, it's equipped with powerful jet nozzles that fluidize the sole in front of the machine. It's equipped with two trucks that were specifically put at a wider distance to stabilize the machine on this project. In front we have the quadrant, it's a unique feature. It goes up and down with the cable so that the tension can be controlled in the cable while we are burying it. The Moonfish is completely autonomous. Yesterday we launched it from the heavy lift vessel on the seabed and it drove back 1000 meters back to the beach where it's currently uh, positioned. Driving back is controlled by the people on board. They can control it remotely which makes for a safe operation. Once the Moonfish is here on the beach it can complete the operation Remote controlled. We can load the cable, we can close the door and start trenching with our operator safely on the heavy lift vessel. For future projects, we may have to still make some minor modifications to Moonfish, but as is now, we are pretty future proof. We are ready to execute many more challenging projects in the future.